We're on the lookout for nostalgia content. Discover the feelings you had as a child. If you're depressed, you should just drink some memories, you f***ing ingrates. Nostalgia! Embark on a journey to a time when things were objectively better. Actually, that's unlikely. They probably were just as bad as they are now, but your brain does a great job of forgetting all of the awful ah! Nostalgia's not content. Looking back on your childhood, now you're sad for no real reason. It's the nostalgia game. Wish you could have enjoyed it then. And it's so good. Oh, spooky. All right, welcome to the nostalgia game. Uh, today's game uh, was inspired by some rummaging I did this weekend through my grandparents' uh, old stuff. Um, I realize that there's a lot of household type things. Why are you rummaging? Well, hold on. Why are you rummaging through your grandparents' stuff? Are you well, out there thank you for, you just thank you for stuff? introducing the most boring story on the planet. My grandparents okay. are moving out of their old place. I thought it was boring. I thought you were robbing. So okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they did find this beautiful. I did find this mug that, that Sam mug. will now inherit. Yes. Um, but I also found a lot of other things that I was looking at and be like, "What is this?" And mm. uh, that kind of made me think of some other things that I had realized we don't use anymore. All right, um, all right. So I'm gonna show you I'm some excited. images of these things and I want you guys to tell me what they are. Uh, so there's gonna be six. We're not playing for any points because Andy is not here this week, so. Andrew. You know, it just keeps throwing really a wrench the in the point he's system. Only gone today, I mean, right? only gone today. Oh, only gosh, gone today. Okay. So, but that throws off the whole week like, because course, then he's know, down, know. you know. Just Did you guys play for points on Friday? No. We didn't, no. Okay, good. Nobody got, I, I won, mean, we though. started the week, but. Okay. Uh, you did, did you? I don't even think we had a game on Friday, Bobby. We, we didn't. <laughs> no. <laughs> you almost got him. You almost got, okay. <laughs> Dang it. All right, so I'm gonna show you a picture of something and you guys have to tell me what it was used for. All right, okay? let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. First one. Oh, crud, I saw this on a Buzzfeed article and I forgot already. <laughs> Any ideas? Oh, Sam. The fireplace. It is not for the fireplace. Turn on the gas. On the it is not to turn on the gas in the fireplace. I, I, I feel like the Facebook group is just going to be screaming. They're screaming. At us I feel the, my parents screaming at me right now. Rob, any ideas? I, it makes me think of a lot of an L key. Is it like some kind of L key where it's, uh, it functions as a tool to um, either open a drawer or. Well, or um, it, is, it is a sort of key. Car key. Not opening, uh, you're not opening a car or drawers or anything like that. I can see Kevin messaging us, but I can't cheat. So I closed the laptop. Oh, oh he, he says, us. okay, Kevin says he thought it was the gas key as well. Okay, it okay. does look similar to a gas key, but that is not it. Oh, darn it, um, I don't know. I would, I'll give you a clue. Okay. This is something that you would get attached to something else that you bought. So you would buy something and uh -huh. this would come with it. Yes, because it functions as a tool yes. to either <laughs> yes. open it or- something. Yes, yeah. but what exactly is it? <laughs> I don't know. I'll tell you. There's no follow-up oh, answers. Man. This is a can opener ah, for aluminum it. can, sardine cans, or okay, spam. Okay. You would use this key, and that you would twist it, and it would open up. There you go. The aluminum can. And for it would you. come with all aluminum cans. Yeah, it used to come on the side or on the bottom of the can. Okay. And then you would use the key to open the can. All right. It's a can opener. Well, see. A can opener. Darn yeah. it! I feel like I read one of these <laughs> articles, and I'm like, Mom, do you know what this is? All right, here's the next one. It, it, it looks a little bit similar to the uh, can opener, but that's not what it is. Oh gosh, I'm gonna feel like such a fool. This is for the fireplace. That is not for the fireplace. Okay. That is for s'mores. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> that is not for s'mores. Um, I wanna see what Kevin says. Kevin says, I know. Kevin, answer in the chat. Oh, I have one right. of these in my backyard at the house I was That's what I was renting. I think I had one of these. Yeah, yeah. so you're going to find, you don't know what it's for, but I, you have one? I use it to get lemons out of the tree. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess you can do that. Kevin knows. Kevin got it right. Kevin got it? Yes, okay. this is for your sprinklers. Oh. It's to turn the valve to open your sprinklers on and off. Oh, Robert, yeah, yeah. sprinklers didn't used to be automatic. You used to have oh. to manually oh, see? turn That's the valves so... to open yeah. them okay, and close okay. the sprinklers. Why does it have to be so long for? Because the sprinklers were usually on the ground, so to keep you from having to bend down and do it, you just use the tool 
and turn it. The past the was so of the considerate of their consumers. I feel like today it's not <laughs> the, the past. Numbers. The past was so considerate. And they made good, things yeah. that lasted. Notice these past two items have yeah. been stainless steel yeah. or present, metal or whatever and no plastic. The present is a jerk. The past <laughs> was considerate. I want to see if Kevin knows this next one. Here it is. That is a salt and or pepper shaker. That is not. That's, that's right. a good guess. I knew, I knew you would say that actually because it does look like one. It does look like one. Um, it's an umbrella holder? It's a toothpick holder. It is not a toothpick holder. <laughs> Whatever it, it is, is not for, for one toothpick. <laughs> <laughs> it is a toothpick holder for one toothpick. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I thought it was just full of them and you had to shake the toothpick out. <laughs> she and now one you say that, it sounds real yeah. stupid. Let's see, Kevin is typing. Let's see if Kevin oh, knows. Oh, goodness. Okay, uh, an egg holder. I feel like Kevin, Kevin is looking at I'm he sorry. Said, I, Kevin says no idea. I don't know what this is either. This is so super, I think this might be thing. super old school. <laughs> This. Robert already thinks it's stupid. He doesn't know what it is, but this is a stupid the, thing. Okay, actually, I'll give you a clue here. Okay. Um, look at what it is, and then maybe think of a certain maybe nursery rhyme type thing. That Mother Goose. This might be in. Mother Goose. Something about a blackbird, maybe? Blackbird, no, black, uh, ha, ha, black maybe, a bu maybe a bunch of blackbirds. A murder? A crow? Um, a crow. Um, a a Cheryl crow. crow. A Cheryl Crow, yeah. No. The whole affair. Um, Baked into something. What? This yeah, is not no, helping I'm, me. I'm sorry. I'm so... Baked into a pie. pie this is a ceramic pie. pie bird. Basically, you had to put this in your pie, uh, and, and it would, the steam, steam the steam, wow, it would release the okay. steam from inside the pie, because you have to get all the steam out from inside the pie. So when you had a pie with a top crust, that's how you Everyone get the put steam these out. in their pies? I don't think everybody did. A lot of I, it was something you could to get the So steam what out. happens if you don't put this in your pie? I don't know, Robert. Maybe bake, you just don't have oh. a good pie. <laughs> I honestly don't know. Is that from the nursery rhyme? Is that why it is a blackbird? So bird? so they used to have it in different shapes and apparently the blackbird shape uh, became popular when that nursery rhyme started. Okay. Now you're making me self-conscious because I try to I dabble in baking and I've been trying to make a buy and I, now I'm thinking oh, I need this. I don't I've think you need this. I've never seen you bake one thing and the I've last been making three and a half peach years. cobblers at least every single week and trying to perfect Bring and match. Bring some. What is that? I'm I know. trying to perfect Talking and match. Talking about all this baking and I've Gosh. never seen a baked good. I'm bringing you the one that was sprinkles. It's a weird peach cobbler though. It's not what like it's. I thought you guys would be grossed out by it. It's something weird like the cheese. its I was going to say as long as there's no cheese its in it I think we'll be all right. All right, okay. Okay, we got a few more. Here, Here's the next thing. Dabble and baking. That this is... This is a voice, uh, a, a voicemail machine. It is not a voicemail That's machine. A rewinder. Good guess, though. That is, a, that is a rewinder. That is a VHS tape rewinder. A rewinder, yes. An automatic tape rewinder. Good job, Sam. Thank you. Robert, those I, VHS tapes, you would put those in there and that's what you would use Cahill, to rewind. Cahill, I hate you. You got me negative two points or whatever last week. Oh, yeah. As opposed to rewinding them by stomach. hand? You would never rewind them by hand. Wouldn't you? You no. would just twist the, you could just twist <laughs> the, Maybe if you're... <laughs> <laughs> no, I these crazy? are like these are like hour and a half, two hour long movies. You think you have to <laughs> do the whole thing by hand? May only if like the film got messed up and you had to like fix yeah. it in there. Did you think that everyone rewound them by hand without a machine? <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite thing. This is exactly why. <laughs> I swear that's how we would remi rewind our VHSs. You'd no. have to just like twist Your them. mom wanted you to stay busy. Is yeah, what <laughs> for, for two hours. For a long time. <laughs> yeah. No, you would. You, you could rewind them in a VCR, but the VCR was thought to not as be as fast, as fast yeah. or as like it would also sometimes cause like kinks and stuff. Yeah. So the tape rewinder was faster and more efficient than doing it in a VCR. And if you had something in the rewinder, you could pop in another movie and watch it instead of having to wait for the other tape to rewind yeah. anyway. Would it really take that long? To, uh, to do it by hand? Or to even record it, uh, rewind it in the VHS? Well, I find that as a waste of money. Why would you? It's I'm a, sorry, I just It's either. a convenient <laughs> item. Just yeah. like everything else we've now had in our lives. You don't we need an have, iPad mini yeah. and an iPad, it's just convenient. Yeah. Okay. Well, also, we didn't have any crypto to invest in, so we, <laughs> this is the kind of thing we spent our money on. Yeah. Alright, here's another one. Oh, is this that little pie thing I was talking about last week where you bake your pies over I, a campfire? It, it kind of is, actually. 
I think. That looks like what we used. But yeah. apparently that's not, is it's, that, does it, it bake biscuits? It's, yeah, it's, it's so it's kind of like a hand uh, uh, toaster. Yes. Oh, you can put wow. sandwiches, like sandwich bread this and stuff exactly in there, and you squish them together, about. and yeah. you put them over a fire, or yeah. heat them up, you flip it over, and that'll heat it up. Yes, yeah, so that is what we would use camping. The ones we had were cast iron, but you put just mm -hmm. like Wonder iron, Bread, yeah. Yeah. and then some pie filling, and close it, and they toast up a little Pop-Tart, essentially a little hand pie. Yeah, you could do it with like a, over the flame, um, over like over a, a, a campfire. Yeah, campfire. Yeah. Yeah, you could yeah. do it with pie stuff or like a s grilled cheese Wait, or, or something like fancy. that. That was fancy. Yeah, this one is actually, I, I think I found it, it's like super old. I think it's from England. Yeah, it says uh, made in England. It was in like a vintage Something toaster. Section. I can't read it. Some me. of them are circle like this and you can also get square ones. This Ooh. is one of the ones that actually, this is actually one of the things that I found over the weekend. I'm like, what the heck is this? But it Did was a square it? one. Uh, I think my mom kept it to ah. keep to make little sandwiches for Perfect. the niece and nephew. Sweet. Amazing. Yeah. All right, uh, think donate one, it, right? No, no. Gotta go camping with Robert. One more. That is a well, this can is something... opener, or a bottle of something, a bottle opener. It is not a bottle opener or a can opener. It is also not a some item. sort of medieval torture device. <laughs> oh <my laughs> what joke is Robert gonna make in the next <laughs> <laughs> Robert, I think you might be interested in this one. Do you have any guesses? Oh, I, I texted you my guess. I wasn't sure if that was... Why would you text it to me? Are you too embarrassed? <laughs> oh, God. That's no. not it. <laughs> no, it's not that. Robert's okay, guess right. it involved a moil. <laughs> that is not correct. <laughs> okay. All right, well, okay. Also, um, Kevin said that Amazon, you could still get the little sandwich. A little sandwich? Oh, yeah. good, good, good. Is this like a... Sh a sh like to, um... No, it can't be that. It's a pasta cutter. It's not a pasta cutter. I don't know. I have no idea. Why would you need this? This is to take the top off of your eggs. What? Soft boiled eggs. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Close it. <laughs> you can watch videos of this. It's really I weird. I believe it. You yeah. Can take, you get a soft boiled egg, you take that little device. And you kind of like twist it, and then you take the top, top off. off. So then eggs. you have an egg. That actually you can get sounds to the really yolk. convenient. You could use it. You can make it fancy for like yeah, fancy yeah, dishes. A thing, yeah. As opposed to slicing it, because it's soft boiled, the insides might spill out if mm -hmm. you try to slice it. As opposed to having it on a holder and cutting it. Yes. Yeah, right. Yeah. I like that Pretty we worked through that with you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good so job. unnecessary, but fine, great. Think about it though. You have your hard boiled eggs. How hard are they to like really get? Sometimes they don't peel I off, I hate that. Right? It's my biggest reason why I like you don't, don't do that anymore. Well, maybe if you had it's the little hard. cutter, you could. I know. Well, there you Easy. go. Thank God maybe none of that stuff right. wow, I feel uh, dumb is needed after anymore. That. Thanks, Bobby. No, you, you know what? Every now and then we got to throw, we got to lob one out to the Facebook group. Yeah, you know. I, I, I honestly, the only thing that I probably even used from that is the VCR rewind. I can't so. wait till they show things that we use currently a lot today, yeah. like 20 years from now, and saying, what did people used to yeah. use this for? That's yeah. like yeah. turning into oldie station and hearing the killers. Oh my gosh. I don't even want to talk Kill about it. Kill myself hearing that. I'm <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. That's a bad joke. We'll be right back. Bobby, thank you. You're welcome. I don't mean it, but thank you. Nobody would have gotten a point on that. No, no. yeah, you guys would have blown it. No, you would have got one for the VCR.